Okay, so most of you probably have this by now, but I want to do a quick guide on how you actually get the exotic holster. It's the first exotic piece of gear to come into the game, and to start off the entire quest, or project if you want to call it that, is come into the White House, and you'll want to come over to Anaya, go into her buy and sell, and she will have the first part there. That first part is going to require that you go all the way over to the left side of the map, over to the Riverside Gas Station control point. Take that control point down, it doesn't matter what level it is. But once that's done, if you go into your project, you'll see the project for the holster. It will say complete, and all you want to do is come back. You have to donate the part that you get, but once you've taken down the gas station, you go onto the roof of it, you go into the supply room, in the big yellow container is where you'll get the first part. You want to donate that for the project, come back to the White House, hand it in. When you get this, you'll want to make sure that you have a Richter and Kaiser backpack and mask, as two pieces of that brand set will give you 20% pistol damage, and you can only get Richter and Kaiser from a mask, a backpack, or a holster, and obviously using the exotic holster, you're going to have to have a backpack and a mask, so that you keep that extra pistol damage. And also, if any of you still have the question, yes, you can use one weapon and one piece of gear that are exotic at the same time. Once you've been upstairs and you've handed it in, you'll be given the next part. That is to take down three control points at the highest level. Those three have to be separate factions, Black Tusk not included. So you'll want to go around and level up control points to level four, one being Hyenas, one being True Sons, and the other being Outcasts. Once you've done all three of those, rinse and repeat basically, Donate each of the parts you get, bring them back to the White House, hand them in for the project. And that will give you the final part, which is the, I think it's called the High Noon Showdown or something like that. And for that, all you need to do is, once you've handed that in and you've got the final part, this one's a little bit tricky, but you're supposed to go to the certain bar at midday. So it's going to be Noon, High Noon Showdown. But a lot of people have said that it doesn't work. The best way to do this, the way I did it, was wait in the White House until around 11.30 a.m., and if you don't know how to check the time in game, you can pause, hold X to go into photo mode, and on the right hand side you'll see there, it's nearly 10 to 7 in the evening. So wait in here until 11.30am, then make your way to the location. If we quickly run there now, I will show you exactly where you need to go. Okay, so you want to leave the east exit, and keep going along the road. As we get further along, you want to take the next left. And we're going to head up this road here. I'll show you exactly where it is on the map in a second. I'm going to ignore all the gunfights and everything going on. Just past that bus on the right hand side, you'll see all of these like soldiers standing outside. All you need to do is head into this building and the Black Tusk will spawn in this back room here. So you'll see there's enemies actually patrolling in there. But Black Tusk will spawn if you've done it all correctly. Take them down. You'll be able to tell if it's going to do it correctly because the leader or the named boss will have a cowboy hat on. That is the same for the previous task where you have to do the level 4 control points. If we quickly look on the map, you can see that it's right here. So from the White House, you come down this bit here. You leave heading east. You go all the way along Alexander Hamilton. And then you do a left turn onto 15th Street Northwest. And then up here, there's an echo inside, if you need to use that as a waypoint kind of thing. But once you've done that, all you need to do is hand that in, like donate the part. Go back to the woman where the projects are upstairs in the White House. You will get all the parts, and then if we quickly go and look at the crafting station. Okay, if we take a look, we go down to holster. The Dodge City Gunslinger's holster. You will have all four of the exotic parts of the fast leather belt. And the other three you can see there. You'll need 85 protective fabric. And then make sure you have a Providence modular holster and the Petrov drop leg holster. Those are required at score 250 plus to craft this holster. But if you have a look here, directly underneath this one, we have the Petrov defense, which is the drop leg holster. And if you have a look there, the Providence modular, Providence defense modular holster. So I can craft the replicas, they count as well. So I didn't have to do any part grinding or anything like that. And these blueprints here, you can pretty much just get from doing control points. So as long as you have a fair amount unlocked, those two are the ones you need to craft in order to make the exotic. And that's going to do it for the guide. There's not much to it. If you have used this before because it's mainly for a pistol build, although if you've got a revolver you get extra damage, 
Let me know your thoughts and stuff about it in the comments. That's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.